All right, in this video, we're going to look at how to uh, sharpen end mills. And uh, this little handout here is very, very helpful. We have this in our CMM 224 class, Advanced Industrial Machining. So we first look at the different parts of the end mill. And uh, you'll be given a handout like this. But when we sharpen the end mill, we're looking for a couple things that are very, very important. We're looking at the primary angle, the secondary angle, and the, the degrees that we'll put on that angle. So the first, the primary angle, we're gonna make it about five degrees. The secondary angle is usually 10 degrees greater, which will make it 15 degrees. And when we grind end mills in here, we can't really grind a center cutting end mill. It takes a quite a bit of skill to get that center point off of there. So we're, all of our end mills that we're going to re-grind are non-center cutting. That means they're going to have a small hole in the middle of them. So let me show you a couple end mills. This is one that's extremely dull. And if you can see that, you can see the, the angles on that. And this one is very, very dull, which I don't know if you can see right on the corners. You'll always see really it'll be burnt up right on those corners so let me show you what our grind is going to look like when we're done it'll look about like this so right here this is your primary angle and this is your secondary angle so this is your primary this is your secondary the primary has five degrees secondary has 15 and see the hole in the middle that means it's non-center cut, so we can grind these absolutely fine on this machine. So we're gonna go through the process of how to grind these uh, end mills. So one, we can save a lot of money, we can change them for different types of materials that we're gonna cut, and uh, we can uh, just make use of what we have. So let's look at how to sharpen these things. All right, first let's look at the height of the wheel in relation to the cutter, you can see that the center of the wheel just about a half inch higher than the center of the cutter. That's about what we want. Also, we're gonna do our secondary angle first, which is 15 degrees. So we look right here and we see that we're at 15 degrees. And we also wanna notice that we're not exactly straight ahead. We're tilted just slightly to give a dish in the middle of the cutter. So we're going to be about two degrees to the left. You can see the two degrees there. So this is how the machine is set up. So we're not in a straight line. We're about two degrees to the left. We're at 15 degrees for the secondary angle. And our cutter is about a half inch below the center of the wheel. And that's where we'll start. So let's set it up and show you how this works. You see how our cutter is in with the cutting edges horizontal. That's what we want. We want our cutting edges horizontal. Then we're going to take the cutter in toward the wheel and just slightly cut. And we'll move it in just a little bit. And this is, remember, this is our secondary angle at 15 degrees. And I'm gonna give six clicks. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm gonna take it in. One, two, three, four, five, six. Take it in. And I did just dress the wheel, so the wheel's in good shape. One, two, three, four, five, six. And if I need to take a little bit more, if my end mills wore pretty bad, I'll move it to the right just a little bit more. And we'll take another 10 or 20 thousandths off the face. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six. All right, and you can see, and I'll turn the wheel off. 
you can see we now have the secondary angle cut. So let's back this up just slightly. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna tilt it down to five degrees. So it's at five degrees now, but when I do that, I need to lower my wheel. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 22. About 22 or 23 rounds on the hand wheel will get us about where we need to be, but I do need to move it back slightly. Okay, so I'm gonna move it back slightly. We'll set it up. And I don't wanna to go too deep. Here, I, I actually wanna barely miss it at first and then just slowly move it to the right. Okay, so I'm barely touching there, so I'm gonna go a little bit more. I want about 40 or 50 thousandths here on this primary angle. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, let's see. Let's see how this looks. Let's pull it out and take a look at it. I loosen it up here, give it a tap, and wait till the wheel comes to a complete stop. I'm gonna grab the end wheel, pretty solid. And there we go. You can see how we did on this thing. You can see there's a, the primary angle and secondary angle. It looks good and sharp, nice and crisp. We have two degrees in this way, two degrees in that way. So this end mill looks very good and it'll last quite a long time from now. All right, now we're gonna kind of show you the whole process of sharpening the end mill. I showed you a few little set of procedures let's look at the whole procedure from start to finish so we we've got our end mill it's in pretty bad shape push it in until we're about at the flutes and make sure we keep it horizontal we want two flutes horizontal right there so we start our wheel up we remember we want the center of the grinding wheel about a half inch above the center of the end mill so I loosen this dog. This is called a dog or a stop. And I'll tighten it up when my cutter is close to the wheel. I'll start to move it in. And I'm pretty far away. So I turn this little screw here to allow me to move to the right. Still not there. I would rather start far away than to start too close. Take it until I'm at center, I want to move it over until I'm about to the center. Okay. Six clicks. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then push it back. Make sure you get that slot pushing back on it. Okay. And we're doing the secondary angle first, which is 15 degrees. Okay. Now we're going to do the primary angle. So we're going to loosen this. We're going to drop this thing down to five degrees. Tighten it back up. We've got to loosen our dog to get it out of the way. So we want to lower the grinding wheel head about 23 rotations will put us about where we're at. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, twenty, 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 Big. 
take it over until I'm at center or just a little bit of past center. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Feels like I might need to go uh, a little deeper on this one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right. And I think I may want to move it just a little bit deeper. So I'm going to try to do it one more time. Make sure I go way over here. I don't want anything in the middle sticking up. toward me to go in, in the down direction. And I'm gonna loosen my collar, give it a pop, grab the cutter tight, may even want to use a paper towel to do this or a shop towel. So there we have our sharpened end mill. And you can see there's a little nub in the middle. That's where I took an EDM and burnt out that hoe, but I used some flushing. So you see our primary angle and our secondary angle. Primary is five degrees secondary is 15 so this cutter is sharpened and ready for action